drilling, it's on my false reap lapel. So if you guys are watching this back, you're lucky. Enjoy. Ugh. Boom. It's hard to, like, like, if I do this, I want to do this, but I'm like, I don't know, am I playing into the sweep here, you know? Mm-hmm. Stuff going hard enough. It makes you feel like better, nobody does. Okay. Plus, it's hard because both of my feet are here. So, instinctually, it feels fine. But, it's not. I, I like, uh, more I can have my partner be thinking. He's like, right here. It's, it's just normal lapel stuff, right? So I'm controlling this lapel here, which reinforces this guy. All I gotta do now is get this foot out. This foot enters in. And all I gotta do here is just make sure I'm biomechanically safe. Because if my knee's pointed in the line with my body, I'm good. If I start flaring here, put tension on our knee, I might help you wear a tear that wouldn't be good too, probably. But, yeah, this is a really fun position. I like Pack take that. We're gonna get warmed up more before I jump. Yeah, before I practice it today. Um, there's some like fun on balance this one here too. Those are really good arm bar as well. Like uh, if you put a crowd into me, like uh, what's his name? Dante tried to like smash me at the tournament. It's so, like coming to me so this hand came over. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna come here. Gonna make some space here. I would just attack this arm here like this. Sometimes, is that what it is in post ball? Get some meat here. Come on, come on. There's also. If I'm here, I can escape my legs out. And then my elbow comes back towards the elbow here. And then you can get the blood that way. There's an arm like here, but I think I tried to escape the arm. What I was doing was Colby, because Colby's yes here. It's kept in the finger like this. And then all my dudes want to put my hips in. And it attacks like a shoulder. Yeah, so put your, put your back. So there's an arm bar. Put your back. Back up later. Give me the arm. Give me the arm. Yeah. So you got the arm bar, right? Mm-hmm. There's also right here, it's called like a Montevella. So you'd say here, and you put tension this way. So it attacks it like a... Almost like an Americana, yeah. But... These are different limbs. <laughs> yeah, so you just attack the angle like this. My favorite one to do is um, in the triangle. Because then you don't move the arm to the side, you just grab the elbow, or the, the wrist, twist it this way, so then you attack there. Is that kind of the idea of the mirror walk, dude? Some people call it that, I think, yeah. I, yeah, this one, um, I was doing the other body, but. It's actually one fun thing. You try to. You want to play guard or do a couple guard passes? Um, I would just play guard now. What do you want to do? Just uh, call it.
reason you're going to do is that he wants to stay on his side. So if you can, uh, when you attack the shoulders, you need to put his hips. So if you need the shoulder flat, the hips are nasty, you will open up a little bit. It's just harder when you keep his knees tight. So then you push the top leg. And you want to make sure your foot, when you try to escape it, you like, do this like ballerina. So
getting zip points right in here, too. I mean, like, uh, right here. Like, Kingsley. 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 You'll get it, I promise. I promise, bro. I promise. Let's see what we got going on here. So fresh. All right, guys. Seriously, if you're watching this back, don't forget to subscribe, but also post questions. I want to make videos for you. We got baby Tynan Dalpro over here. Baby Tynan. If you guys want good help on stuff, take notes. Take notes over your competition film. This is what I have and what I've done for Mr. Addison and Ethan. Got a handful of notes. Gone through some of their, uh, gone through some of their film. What you guys are gonna find is uh, if you guys have goals for your tournament, not just winning, but actually going through and having. Uh, goals based on your guys' techniques, your mechanics, and all that fun stuff. Um, you're going to find a lot of common things in your match, in your matches to improve on. So that's what we're working through today. A lot of drilling, a lot of uh, kind of practicing through some of the stuff we're trying to improve our timing on. But also some of the things that we worked on at the tournament that we want to get better at today. We're probably going to do some sparring and like, oh, my phone's right here. You guys got it. Probably do some sparring in like 15 minutes. some sparring about 15 minutes so anyways i'm gonna let you guys watch addison do a little bit of drilling we've got ethan and jackson um jackson's one of our younger kids that's uh doing an absolutely incredible job but let's watch Good, do that again, but see if you can pause there for a second on your hip like he did, to block the bottom knee. Because like, you want to, you want to think about like reverse engineering, what does he need to do to retain his guard? So if you're controlling that top leg and you're keeping his knee opened up, he can't come up to his knees to wrestle up, right? So the only thing you can do is bring his bottom knee to his chest. So if you can keep that there while keeping tension here, trying to get that elbow to the rib, keeping that knee blocking the bottom leg and then switching and then coming up, you know? Just slow it down a little bit to where you're thinking about what can he do here? And you may ask him, hey, what would you do here? Yeah. When you have your point, you feel like it's a baby checkpoint. When you could like, you know what I mean? Grab a change. Can I use your phone so I can see the chat? Because I can't see if there is any. Yeah, I'm just working on different type style of content stuff. My phone's at 15. It'll be fine, I'll charge it. If anything, you should be saying thank you. Ethan, you're making me happy over there. Keep it up. Hey, that's me. Is that you? Google. What's this? It's a phone. Oh, oh. Uh, that's a good question. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I don't know what that was. You need me. I do. You, sir, are the best in the world. Better lighting. You'll appreciate it. See, look, you can go back. You can go back on the live stream and watch it. Don't forget to ask yeah. yeah. any questions for future content. Or if we see your comment in the live stream, we'll actually add, answer it live as well. 
quads. This blue belt, Madison, Tony, he's the future. I don't know if you can see him in the frame. We have a light feather over there, too. Pain champ. He's going to be incredible. So, Trey. So, Addison. With that neck time, you're trying to tell me. This one's a bit different because I'm stepping over and breaking the daily Eva, so I don't actually have a grip on his pants up here. I have a grip on his sleeves. So, as I long step here and I break his grip, don't get it, but does your elbow have that? Huh? Uh, see, I don't know the answer. Does your elbow have that? How can you ever your elbow or in place or this leg? And what do you got here? I can square it up here. Yeah, but feel it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But then a really easy transition is your bottom leg. Yeah, watch. So I can put that on the knee. Yeah. And I can still move the leg and stuff and stay really tight. Okay, how can you make that better? And you saw that in your too. Think about this. If you can control shoulders and hips, you can control your partner, right? Yeah. Would you rather try to secure the pass with your hips here? Yeah. Or hips here? Yeah. Plenty of up. Yeah. So a real good mat to study is the Zak Zak Bench and uh, so Tynan. Is this here? But look, it's driving the seat up and under. Here. Now look where it's interesting. The first thing, complete opposite way. Because you know, right, especially if they're bringing their leg in a lot, it's this. Here. It's like coming up and under. Yeah. The knee control here, yeah. or some of the side control stuff that's adding is working. This is the arm between the leg. But it's this idea of like, in order for him to escape, right? He has to turtle by being all the way shoulders and hips. Or shoulders and hips. We're not worried about both of those. This is the only thing we've got to do. So if you do that, that's perfect. You make it easier. Tension, like lifting and then driving your chest. But I like breaking my knee under. But look, look. I, he can't break his knee in as long as it. My head punch. Now think about this one right now. Think stuff. But you can also do, I mean, but just play with this one too here. You can get up here. You can control your part. You need your front with some like leg drag stuff too. And I'll turn the AC on for you. It's good while he's seeing against the wall. He's very, he's, he's a very sensitive guy. Can I try to do I only really sweat in here, by the way. I can sit outside for like 40 minutes and not sweat at all. Because he's nervous in my presence. No, maybe it's Colby's presence. Colby's <laughs> yeah, a scary guy, right? All right, so I've had... We'll just go here. I think the Kamar is tighter. So I'm back up to my hip. The thing I want you to work on, too, Daxon, is knowing for you, when you get uh, the Kimura, if you want to get more work, like, you get it on... Some kid, you know you're higher level then. You catch it, you get the point, you know. All I got to do is pop, pop, go. So... If you want to get better faster, what can you transition to from that key lock? You know, but be in your head, so you understand. You do the mental rep. You may do one good pull, but then go to something else. But you know you just let them live in that round. Right. Like some kids, you know, they're going to trap with nothing. Mora. Yeah, but the thing is, too, though, is that you could also best thing more like help for time. It's really nice to do with that. There's things that you can do. It's like eight two reps. Just a line. Just something else. Yeah, you know how we do those mobility drills? You can press up. The wall doing those mobility drills, what you can do is when you go side to side, you can drop this elbow on the ground like you're grabbing and recall it. Start to drop your hip. You're going to just like under them out here. Just watch yourself back.
And then, when you come over here, because sometimes you read the end of the growing up, you can swap yourself back. You can use that right hand, you pretend you're grabbing the pants or whatever, and just keep walking back, stretching them out. And then you can reenact like a top spin or whatever. So that's a key part is having your hand on the pant legs. And yeah, or just creating a wedge or whatever, because sometimes timing will just long step to one arm. The big thing is that they want to be easy. You've got to read your points very well. It's good to have the mechanics and the ability to move and realize just being able to long step well is healthy for you have a good body mechanics and just being able to move lighter. I have kind of trolled, though there is truth to it. I didn't actually have it like secured in past with the long step. See how I don't really learn that as well. You don't even find it within this form. Outside of like one group, one hand is mastered, that's how it's third. That doesn't mean the long step is going to be It's like saying the wind show like Name one time you've ever had something with all the power of the wind. Or I can do this. That's super important. You get both of these at the same size. You're at a jeopardy point. You make your partner perform great, go higher. They're panicked a little more. They don't have a bar. They see it. That's a little shit to be physically. Like a long step does a lot of that. It forces your partner to really not be good to force if you do so. And if you're in thinking, like a professional, Yeah. Whoa, you calling me fat, bro? How do you feel about a blue belt calling their professor fat? I don't know how I feel about that. And he's like, just put on a bunch of muscle. Yeah, well, I don't take any vitamins outside of protein shakes and creatine. For those of you guys that can't see in frame, we also got uh, good old Ethan over here and Jackson. We've got uh, Colby and Madison over here working a lot of long step stuff. Make sure you guys have any questions. We'll answer them live for you guys too. Some people will get that leg over and if I back up enough, or well, if you guys are watching the replay, number one, make sure you guys subscribe at the same time too, though. Um, comment any questions, and I'll follow up with some good stuff for you guys. Hey, do you want to mix it up too a little bit, Coley? So, um, 
I feel like you trying to stop it at some point will build confidence for both of you. But as he long steps and gets there, um, he's going to hold it for a second, and then you're going to give a reaction, and he's going to pass off of that. Yeah. Or maybe even reset. It's but just okay. that like, a, like, a, like scale of resistance. Acceptable. Make sure I can see the chat, guys. I don't want to be missing anything. Get some sparring in here soon, guys. With these practices, though, goals to improve a level of jiu-jitsu as fast as possible. So, we're also going through some going through some stuff that happened the Baton Rouge <laughs> Open, which uh, Addison was able to win his weight class. Uh, he's a little bit adult middleweight, and then he ended up getting third in the absolute. And honestly, that takes a little bit of accountability on that semifinals loss because. We thought he had uh, his opponent had an illegal yeah. ankle lock, and I had to get education from the head ref, which was good education, and um, you know getting submitted in that position. But next time, next time, Ethan did a really good job too. He got a chance to compete against uh, number five. Yeah, number five guy in his weight class and the number one. So that was really good. He probably got the scariest uh, Kimura to Barata Plata setup I think I've ever seen. He was, he was beautiful. We're going to post that video.
Anaconda is a mean choke. Yeah. 
One, that's when you gotta catch. If someone gets on, it's yeah. very annoying to deal with. So just don't be put in it. Uh, Abby will try. She's been trying a little bit more lately. She forgot about it forever. Yeah, it depends on somebody's level in that position. Yeah, for sure. Because you're not defending my triangle. It depends on the angle that I catch it. There are some that are tougher. I'm way better at trying. I'm good at triangles in no gi, but I feel like I'm way better in the gi. And I'd abuse lapels, because I am a lapel king. Oh, uh, I, t I armbar. I armbar the armbar guy. And you know who the armbar guy is? Really? And I thought, and maybe who's my favorite scene? Chip Rubin. It's a stand, like not standing armbar, but I was on the ground. The more you can get feeling good though too, helping people get better, teaching does help your jiu-jitsu. So if you think about mechanics, about why you do something. Because every moment you'll be like, how and why do I do that? I know it's good, but and then you have to explain it to them and help them. And you're making the perfect training dummy. Like, yes, Ethan is a nice guy. But in reality, you know why he's helping you so much? Outside the fact that he knows I'll kill him if he doesn't. Because, because you, he's, he's making his, gonna be his favorite drilling and sparring partner when you get older and bigger and you get bigger. But you gotta get bigger. Yeah, so make sure you, you're supposed to be 6'1". 6'1"? Yeah. You're supposed to bully Ethan. He told you 6'1". Taller than me. I'm like 6'2". Yeah. My doctor didn't go on time. <laughs> I don't think you're at least tall. Alright, help him get better. I have a tall We should also practice escaping back triangles. With the arm. Because I was very bummed out in the last minute of my match that I couldn't escape a body triangle, but I know he wasn't going to submit me. He was just wanting to hold me. Are you JT Torres this? Nope. He's like an American legend. He's here too. I got to fight one of his black belts. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like I was controlling the whole fight, right? Yeah. I was so disappointed when you lost because I thought you were this close. It was so up and down, like, shit, yeah. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. It's so close, so close, so close. And it was like, yeah. Like, okay. My, my mentality, my passing was interesting. I don't, I tried to go to the plot in passing and I made an error and I should just try to set up headquarters or going to his post guard. Um, Aljamain Sterling called out, um, Aljamain Sterling called out Sean O'Malley. And Aljamain Sterling was a kill Sean O'Malley. Eight steps. So. Yeah, I don't know. Sugar Sean. Yeah. He's a good kick spot. He likes it. He likes Sugar Sean a lot. I like Sugar Sean a lot. Yeah. I hope Aljo. I hope Aljo. He's my favorite. Aljo's a weirdo. He was my favorite, and then it was Connor. Go back to drilling. Jackson can teach you about MMA after. Huh? Yeah. Taking, right? What? Taking, you say you can't teach me. No. Hey, I have a three-year-old brother I get to practice on. I don't like doing it from straight on on the back. Wait, talking about the Ezekiel? I don't like doing it straight on for the back. You have to be off angle somewhere. Brother, yeah, I don't know if I would try that one. Yeah. That one doesn't work as good as like just getting the honestly like what's so good if you get really good at a modified dipper, you'll get the one you see one Your guys' 
even I would say your sparring, drilling, it's because like let them prep and be mentally comfortable with an old version of you. Let them work with Windows 9 and think they're an expert. Then they show up and this is Windows 11, WTF. You know what I mean? This is my yeah, this is great. <laughs> We got to solid one viewer and one way. Good review, the dead side got a few reflects. Do good, make my content good, entertain. Do your nuts and watch you assist me slash you. Oh, no. That's the only thing I'm doing here tonight. Yay, moving. I don't know what that means. Moving, I told you. Where'd you put it? I want to show Colby a long step video. You do? What?
right now? Actually, he wouldn't, he wouldn't last any longer. What's that? If you were fighting me, how long could you last? Me, me, me. Like 30 seconds. He's like yeah. the only guy to ever tap uh, tying in that black belt. Uh, I want to see your lady. Watch Did you grab your. No, I'm just trying to fight. Phone over here, so everybody can hit the phone with this too. We're going to switch this camera around here. Woo! All right, this is the not so maybe visually fun part, but I think it's good for everybody to learn and understand how to do this, whether you guys are watching it back or watching it live. But you have to. Is there a comment? I don't know if there is. I don't know. Hopefully it pops up. If it's not, we'll fix it next time. But no, so. Uh, Take notes on your guys' matches. I always tell people, watch your match twice. First time you go through, uh, go through watching it, you need to find things that you guys did well. And then um, the second time you watch it through, it's things you guys need to do better next time. Things you guys wanna drill, and all that fun stuff, so. But no, so you mentioned, uh, uh, so like drag a long step, dealing with the lasso, and I had uh, uh, tying in elbow to ribs. So you remember how like Mikey talks about how like the elbow connection to the ribs is the strongest connection you can make mm -hmm. and you're not gonna be able to pull that away. Well, when you're lasso, a lot of times your arm is like this. So you have this like separation between the elbow and the ribs. So whether you could bring it to you, more often than not, it's actually bringing your hips and your ribs to here. So then when you pull it out, shrug away, it's very easy to get your hand out to the outside. And after you break that, I feel like a handful of times with some people, they're gonna hold their lasso not as tight if that makes sense they're gonna be willing to transition to something else so you only need to be able to uh, actually do it a handful of times do you have your phone yeah let me see it real quick i should be able to almost like find it almost immediately like on ioj uh even just youtube uh -huh. um let's see tynan dalpra um passing so let's just see if this pops it up first. There's a couple of good videos on AOJ. There's that one. Yeah, on that one. Okay. I want to see if I, I want to see if I can find the competition one though. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember um, what match it was? I'm so sure it, one of his finals at Pans was really good because he he actually had a tough time doing that one. Tommy, yeah. Tying in. All right. Wow. When you search pans, it literally brought up a picture of a, a pan. And more pans. It's not what I meant. Dude, Arnaldo Samson is very dangerous. Hmm. Very dangerous. That was gonna annoy me. What is, which one? Mm -hmm. I remember the guy's name from Unity. That would help out actually a lot. You know, I thought I was gonna be able to find this really fast. I may have to 
Look on AJ. I don't think it's gonna be on AJ. Or it's easy to find. Yeah. Because it's IBGF content. Look at that handsome dude. Because <laughs> it's IBGF content. What? Why does that look like Israel Asanya punching that girl? <laughs> uh, it's not. Jonas is Gracie, that's for sure. Oh! This is the match, but this is a short. I bet we can identify who it is. Look how he's chaining, yeah, chaining stuff together. So Makes the work rate of the person on bottom so much because what he's doing. Ah, he's wearing that, uh, he's wearing the band around his head. You know who that is? That's, uh, that's Jefferson. Let me see if he has it in here. No, yeah, we will. Um, what time is it right now? 8.56, yeah. Will you bring me my remote? I need to try to find this for Addison. Bye. Just have them roll real quick. Bye, Jackson. You good to spar with uh, Mr. Ethan? Yeah. And then we'll mix us in a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah. Here, search it. Like... Go real quick, Ethan. You got to take the Browns to the Super Bowl? Dude, push as hard as you can. I don't even care if it gives you hemorrhoids. Go fast. You want to do situational or from the feet? Dude, it's up to you, bro. We'll do four minutes. By the way, this is a very tough match for Tynan. Oh, yeah. This is guy, right? Nope. Unity. I saw the patch on his back. I was like, looks exactly like it. Very similar. That's funny. It's very funny. Those are just jumping in. Going over notes from the tournament of Baton Rouge. This monster right here. So, I'm going to let you guys watch Ethan and uh, Colby spar. It should be fun. Watch Colby just beat the brakes off of Ethan. <laughs> elbows, elbows. Hey, what's that uh, judo throw Maragalli gets where it gets the leg in? Uh, uh, if you get an Uchimata, Uchimata, he'll break his heart. He likes the Uchimata. Try it. Try it. Guys, let me know if Colby should Uchimata. Uchimata, Ethan. Just throw the kitchen sink. Colby. Try. I don't know where he's going to find a kitchen sink, but uh, kitchen sink is probably bigger than Ethan. Probably. You're probably right. It is. You can catch him early and get him in a defensive cycle or grab his pants and nogi. Woo. Does he have the lasso yet? So what I want to do is I want to be able to get my computer to where I can have, while we're live streaming, they can watch the film study we're going through and watching too. That's the goal. That'd be pretty sick. That's what I'm going to be able to get. I know I'd, I'm aware of how to look into doing it. If that makes sense. I don't know how to do it, but it should be hard. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I was thinking about like, uh, like a new gym setup, you know, when we start building that. Uh, yeah, or even how we can make this one the way we need to as well. I and I think about cameras in certain spots, fixing when we have the back fully fixed up and ready to go too, doing like lifting live streams yeah, too. Yeah, it's a mess back there, dude. Yeah, it is what it is. By the way, this style of gi that Tynan's wearing, it's so fresh, it's just dumper on the back. But I just remember this too. See how he uses his body, not his arms, to pull it, pull it away? Yeah. But pay attention to what he has with his right arm, because... Here's control, yeah, control the foot, and you can force leg drag here, too. But he's got his hands out, his hands out, and was on top of the shin, because you see his fingertips up like this. Yeah, I think he uses uh, his right hand to start pushing the shin down, and then snakes it. Yeah, and it, it creates a lot of tension on the leg, too. Sorry, I'm rewinding so much. That's fine, I'm looking at different spots. See how his hips are off angle now, too? And if he can keep him in this position to keep that tension and pressure, dude, it's... Yeah, is he moving him, or is he moving himself there? Uh, well, Titan's yeah, moving himself, both, which yeah. then he's then moving. But don't you think about when you're moving, not just using your upper body, your arm, it's moving your body. Taxing the lower body. See how he's taking his time here? He's not rushing. 
Some people would panic here because look now he's squaring back up. Titan's not. This may be a good style for us to play with and do a guard study on that. But honestly, and here's the thing, Jefferson's incredible. And in fact, I want to study more study more of his matches so I get a better understanding of his style. Because I've only really watched him fight Tynan, and I've watched it quite a bit. But his lasso goes really kind of imperfect. Now, he has a good flow lasso there. He's doubling. That's interesting. See that knee cut over? Knee cut over to Delahiva? Yeah. Makes a little bit of space back, like he's like lightly killing the Delahiva hook. Yeah, yeah. And then knee cutting over. Pointing his knee just over his shin. Yeah. yeah. But what you're going to do is you're going to make your guy on bottom hesitate, and that's what you want. You're either going to tax and wear him out, actually pass their guard, or you're going to make them hesitate, and that's what you want. It's like the fear of getting your guard passed or getting submitted, man, will impact how you fight. I got butt up using his shoulder. Look, he's putting that foot there. That's not Jefferson. Yeah. That's not Jefferson, dude. That's him doing it. I didn't notice that before. I got butt up, creating that tension. Hands behind the quad now. Sure he just tried to pull it there, but it's the such an uncomfortable place to, to hold. Yeah. This looks frightening. Frightening. To the guard passing study that is on filmgraphic.com right now, as done by Lachlan Giles. Looks like it, but Lachlan has. Was doing the ones where he had a grip on the tricep. Bottom leg. Can you uh, give Colby one good round while Ethan's taking sure. a giant dump? Ethan's in there pooping his brains out. Colby, you want to like, take out or pull? Go quickly, calm it, seriously. <laughs> What's up? Are you wanting to like, take out or pull? Uh, I'm going to flip this around so you guys can watch the spa. The spa. All right, let's, uh, where's your remote? Ready? Go. Two minutes, spa. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta think about the headquarters. Address the legs. When you beat the feet, then you can address the, uh, yeah. Try to get comfortable inside the headquarters. Control them there for a little bit. Show him how to long step. There you go.
What's he on, bro? There you go. Try to get your guard back with it. Try to get your guard back, Colby. Let's go, Ethan! You're missing training, buddy! Push it out! Big breaths, one more. You don't have to go easy on him this time, okay, Colby? Yeah, right. He's going about 60%, 50%. I'm going 110. Try your best to pace yourself. Yeah, just don't get over, yeah, just stay calm. It's so much easier said than done, though. Right. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over it again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go just make sure big breaths, like the, just remember too, some of it too is your body wants that oxygen. So like where you have those checkpoints positions, big breaths in your nose, that's your mouth. I, I try to force, I try to force my heart rate back down. Like, like sometimes I'll just breathe through my nose, holding in position, calm down and it helps. Some of that wrestling up in here, baby. Ooh. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Now, find a checkpoint. Breathe in your nose out your mouth. Is it your finger, Ethan? Maybe that's all you need to do is tell yourself you suck at it to do it. Feel better? Feel like a rooster weight now? Is she getting enough calories today?
Take a couple, yeah. you wanna go one more with Ethan? Yeah, small guy. Want to be. And then uh, we'll do some of our lapel drilling. And I think we only have like a little bit of conditioning today. So. Feel good? We're always in A shape, just not the one we want. Ethan doesn't want to wrestle. Oh, anymore. summer cartwheels. Let's go. Sneaky little man. Uh oh. Did you say give me that? <laughs> Ethan's like, no, mine. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh! Protect oh, his. Hey, push that foot off your hip. Protect his knee, Ethan. Push the foot off your hip. Good. Remember the single leg X. Pass. Yep, knees are back. No. There we go. You had it in that first spot. You would pass there. Top spin there, brother. Who said Ethan can learn how to wrestle? That ain't fair. Let him up, Ethan. Don't uh -oh. your arm trying to like that, Ethan. Ethan, what's wrong with you? Let that <laughs> What a meanie. Mean blue belt. Sorry, we're trying to make him not as much of a jerk. Sorry. We're Still working, working on, it. on it. She wrestled me then. No, not like that. That was like wrestling up. Wrestle now. <laughs> Just think, no, I don't do whatever that. an Olympic wrestler would do. Not that. <laughs> Boo. <sighs> Breathe, Colby. There you go. Nice. Calm her down. Build your frames. Minute 15 on the clock now. Build your frames. Don't smell Ethan's breath. Try to build frames with structure. Try to straighten that arm out if you can. Do not give him the head and arm choke. It'll make him too happy. My little man. All right. Reset back to the middle. You're out, you're out of bounds. Colby head close guard. Reset the close guard. Yep. Reset the close guard in the middle, Ethan. Ethan, what are you doing? Reset reset, reset to his close guard. Reset. Yeah, reset towards the middle. Quickly, quickly, go, go, go. In his close guard, in his close guard. Go, and we'll go to first to score. But Colby, Colby, Colby head close guard. Cool. Don't argue <laughs> with the referee Obviously. or you get, we or you got, you guys will get DQ'd if you argue with the referee. Both of you. Go on. Got Let's go. You're down by one point, Ethan. Okay. Go. You're down by a point. Uh-oh. Dude, his knee fits into... Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I was distracting him. Oh. No! Oh, no. Try to retake the back. Try to retake the back. Oh, no, he's mad. Oh, was it enough time for points? No, advantage, Colby. Colby, winner. Good job, guys. Dude, I... Oh, man. He mounted me like three times. I <laughs> distracted him, and then he got caught over to get out. That was a good, like, little scissor sweep. Those are dangerous, though. Go dangerous. Along. You can get caught off by real bad on that. Ethan, how was your drilling with uh, Jackson? Good. I'm going to drop the video, because I'm going to show you guys some stuff I don't want on film, actually. Good. Okay, guys. Bye.
Bye.